Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 10.1, Outcomes and Events. Today in your notes you're going to be writing down 10 things. Four of those things are vocabulary terms, but the rest of them you're just trying questions about outcomes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to write down are your vocabulary terms. You have number one, which is experiment, and that's just when you investigate an investigation or procedure that has different results. Number two is outcomes, and those are just all the possible results of an experiment. An event is the collection of one or more outcomes, and a fa favorable outcomes are the outcomes of a specific event, and this is when you list the specific outcomes. So let's go ahead and take time now and pause to write down the four vocabulary terms, and once you're done, click play so we can go on. Alright, so some examples you might see here um, is just you're going to be given a spinner or marbles or a number cube, and you have to decide what results are there. For this case, there are eight possible results, and it says of the possible results, in how many ways can you spin an even number? Even numbers are going to be two, four, six, and eight, so I'm going to be able to spin four ways for an even number. And then four, I'm also going to be able to spin four ways for an odd number. So very, very simple. All you have to just know is how many sides of a spinner they have or number cube or marbles. Okay, These you're going to try on your own. So let's go ahead and pause the video to try 5, 6, and 7. Once you're done, click play to check your work. So in number 5, you're supposed to list the possible outcomes. So on this number cube, your outcomes possibly are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. For number six, what are the favorable outcomes of rolling an even number? And this is this means you list the specific even numbers. So two, four, and six are your favorable outcomes of rolling an even number. For number seven, what are the favorable outcomes of rolling a number greater than five? And again, you're going to list the number that numbers that are greater than five. There's only one number greater than five, and that's the number six. So whenever you see favorable outcomes, you need to think specific, and then you're going to be listing what it is. Okay? Going on to number eight, this is another one you're going to try by yourself. So let's go ahead and read the question, pause it, and try it. Once you're done, click play to check your work. <coughs> okay. For number eight, it says you randomly choose a letter from a hat that contains the letters A through K. So in 8A, what are the possible outcomes? Those are all of the letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. Oops, probably need to write a K right there instead of an H. My bad. The next one says, what are the favorable outcomes of choosing a vowel? Remember, you need to be writing a list specifically about these outcomes. So those vowels will be A, E, and I in this list. How did you do? For number nine, you have three parts, and it's going to concern a spinner. Let's go ahead and pause the video so you can read the question and try the, the three parts to it. Once you're done, click play. In number nine, A, you should have listed there are six outcomes. You have three red, one purple, one blue, and one green. And the letter B, in how many ways can spinning red occur? That would be three ways of, not, of spinning red. And letter C, how many ways can spinning not purple occur? That can list, that can happen five ways. And what are the favorable outcomes of spinning not purple? That means you just list it. I have red times three, green, and blue. So once you're done, you should be able to count five ways. Three red, one green, one blue equals the five ways. The last one you're going to try is about marbles. So go ahead and pause the video and try the questions once you're done click play to check your work. So in letter A, how many possible outcomes are there? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes. In letter B, in how many ways can choosing blue occur? There are two ways that you can choose blue. And letter C, in how many ways can choosing not yellow occur? Not yellow would be one, two, three, four, five ways. What are the favorable outcomes of choosing not yellow? Okay, there are blue times two. There's a green, a red, and a purple. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five wins. That's going to conclude our video for today for 10.1 Outcomes and Events. Thanks so much for tuning in. Just make sure you have your 10 things written in your notes today, and we'll catch you next time.